Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Steph. That is Chris. And I will tell you this, it feels like we have done this show already. It feels like deja vu. Deja vu. So don't press escape when you... <laughs> exactly five minutes ago, this is Tuesday morning, okay? Five minutes ago, we did an 18 minute and 27 second show. Our routine is the same. I get up, go cut it off. Chris starts taking the microphone. Steph moves the chair chair over to start editing and putting all the spots. Bam! She hits the escape button. Everything's wiped out. By accident. But I did. Was it by accident? Oh, yeah. I wanted to sit in the heat and do the show all over again. Sure. In your dress. Not even your Were you married to Gary Coleman? <laughs> <laughs> Just asking. So now we are going to do... Part two of the show. It's like a sequel. The first show was great. It was. I don't know how the sequel is going to turn out. Probably can't. Y'all might as well cut it off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cannot live up to the first one. And that Man, was if y'all have been there for the first one. <laughs> Man, we had some good one-liners. First, I had a full glass of Yeah, drink. that's true. That's true. First thing is, this is the reason why. This is my last reason. I say it all the time. I've said it. I no said way. it. I even said it on the show Earlier, this is the last <laughs> time I will ever say this is the reason I'm having a kid. The cost of raising a kid is what? Almost a quarter of a million dollars. Thirteen dollars. From, from the time, don't you wish, from the time they're born to the time they're 17, not including college tuition, saving up for college tuition, it is a quarter of a million dollars. That's it. That is the number one reason I would never have children. Any people just, voluntarily but just do it? think. From 18 to 22 in college can cost you Double. half of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily cost you 100000 yeah. yeah, within just four years. Oh, gosh. This is crazy. I got a question, man. How long will you keep paying? How long will you keep, Dad, I need, Dad, I need, Dad, I need? Forever. Until I die. Okay. That's that's part of it. Yep, because I do. I, I mean, I still do the, you know. Hey, I do to my mom and dad. I, I haven't in a long time. Yeah, I haven't in a while, but, I mean, there was some time. I remember when I got divorced, man, I was down and out and dead broke and opening the gym, and I lived with them, and they paid my bit. Yeah, I was yeah. 27 years old. Yep. Kudos that's... to my mom and dad. Yep, I did the same thing. So it's an ongoing thing. That's probably the biggest reason I don't ever want nobody to keep asking me for money when I get older. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids are fine because it's just 20 here and there and it ain't 10 grand. Five. I mean, I remember having, when I had the gym, you know, I had to ask for five grand, $5,000. I got it, but. I asked my grandparents for three grand one time. I told you I paid that back. Yeah. Working in the field for $4 an hour. It is easier. Two of it went to them, two came to me. Oh, God. I would work God. 75, 80 hours a week for $150 to $60. <laughs> Golly. Kids uh, don't even know these days how well, hey, they have it. Yeah, that, that is exactly right. I don't think they do. Me and Chris talked about this. has been a while back. My car motor blew up when I was in college, and my dad said if I wanted a motor, I had to work and pay for it, $1,280. And I had to work through the cotton gin season, and every check I got went to him. So for three months, I made absolutely no money working all midnights in the cold at the cotton gin. Well, oh, was I was the spoiled kid. Cold. Until I was about 14. You know, I already had my car picked out for when I turned 16, and I got a car when I turned 19. What do you think I, I, is harder? And then you can answer this too, Steph. What do you think is harder? Having to, you know, like like mine, I, I wasn't spoiled, so it was, I, there was no ever nothing jerked out from underneath me. Or do you think it was the jerking out of the rug that you went, holy crap, now this really sucks. Do you think it was that way, or, or if it would have been the same way the whole time, it would have been easier? You know? If I'd have had money the whole time, it would have been easier. <laughs> I think I lived like this, because my dad... My dad managed a, I mean, he was co-owner of a construction company. So, you know, there was months that he pulled in a lot of money, and then there was months that 
He paid his guys before he paid himself, and he would not bring home a paycheck. So we thank goodness that. my mom had a great paying job. We but, know that, Rita, uh, that feeling. But, you know, I mean, so sometimes it was I got whatever I wanted, and sometimes it was okay. But, I mean, I had a job, but one of the things that I remember was my dad got me a car, and it was a Monte Carlo. It was like an 88 Monte Carlo. And I was I was a brat and said, I think it's too big. It's too ugly. I don't want it. And he really tried to talk me into it, and so he sold it, and I got a piece of crap. I had to start underneath the hood with the screwdriver or a butter knife and carry a gallon jug of water and put it in the radiator <laughs> every day. But that makes you appreciate stuff. I Oh, my gosh. My <clears throat> first car, I got a Ford Ranger, and I cherished that thing so much, and it did. It that was that was one of my life lessons about appreciating everything that I have and everything that I work for. You know, think? Megan got a window busted out, and her tire, all her tires cut, and you know, replaced those. Then she backs into a tree stump and busted her Damn, tail out. Yeah. Red tape. Good luck. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it now. Yeah. You, you, I, I, you know, I could have went, I, it's probably 150 bucks to replace that, but I'm, I'm going to just have to let her drive it that way a little while. Just, mm -hmm. just and she to can go, pay to fix it. Just to go, listen, can't be there all the time. I, I think that's the thing I was saying. It, 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 it's hard to know when it's like, oh, Dad, I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. You know, at some point you got to go. Well, you got to fix your own accident. Yeah, and it's well, kind of hard. Mistake. Accidents happen everywhere. Right. Yeah. So if you don't plan for that accident, that's exactly right. You when drive dear old tape. dad or Uncle Russ ain't around, drive with tape. You 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 you're just gonna be missing a tie. She said to me, <laughs> "I thought you were gonna make fun of me for backing into that tree stump," and I went, "I." I thought about it, but at 30 years old, we were in Wichita Falls, and your dad <laughs> said, him, to me, back down to Sherman Williams, pay attention, there's a pole back there. And I said, don't tell me how to bam! <laughs> and I backed right into it. And at the time, my cousin happened to be seeing a body guy, and we drove it right over there, and he fixed it. No. Oh, that's not He true. did not fix it. He got it to where the back window yeah, would come up. That's right. That's did. all he did. <laughs> the dent was still the there. Still, it, 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 but the window came up. The window was. <laughs> I'll never forget that as he went, dude. There'd be a, you know, there's a, there's a pause. Don't tell me how to bam when I went. Gosh, dang. Oh, that does kind of suck when somebody's like, hey, hey. That ain't Aww. the first time, so we won't even go into the next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that ain't the first time Not we've the done Not the car. That. The cart in the parking lot, or yeah. Any Speaking of, that. of brand new vehicles and brand new things coming out, <laughs> new iPhone hits. Oh, I'm excited. 24th, too. but you order it today. You pre-order your phone. In fact, when this show's over, in fact, I left just a few minutes ago, and I had to come back to do the show again because we couldn't <laughs> find it. We're I'm pre-ordering the phone. <laughs> They're probably gonna be gone by the time we get there. Oh, I'm not gonna live this down. We are pre-ordering our phones uh, today. Well, I didn't know all the new, all the new <clears throat> fancy. Well, if you wouldn't hit escape, <laughs> these people would know because I'm not going over. No, no, I it's, say, quite, it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit, and I did not know. But and I was thinking, ah, oh, you know what? Shh, I don't really need a new phone. My, I, I don't. It, after hearing all the new stuff that's coming up with it, I definitely gonna. We did not phone. talk about this, but I have a question. We did not talk about this. Uh oh, he's got a with the new phone. Face. It has video messaging. Okay, the camera is also in front, and you can set it here, and you can watch the person. You can have a convert phone. Video conference. phone. Video phone. <laughs> you know they do it with Skype, and you can see it. How much of this becomes phone sex? A bunch. A bunch. And, I, and I'm going to tell you where I'm going with this. And I don't know what like, everybody else is going to do. I know it. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you where, where I'm going with this. What do you do at 14, 15, 16, 17? Because, you know.